going on guys? Today we're going to be installing doors and trim for my new bedroom. All right guys, so last time we got everything painted up, we also covered this under stairs section with plywood, painted that the same color as the walls. So the main focus today is gonna be installing the doors and mounting all the trim to finish the project up. So right here, we will have a regular interior door. I bought a pre-hung door, actually the same exact one as this one. And then inside the bedroom, we're gonna be installing two bifold doors for the closet here. And those doors, I believe, just come with a track that you mount at the top. And then down at the bottom, I think there's a little portion that you install that I'll probably have to screw into the concrete down there. And I decided not to do like a finished edge with the drywall here because I'm planning to use the trim. I'm gonna use my uh, one by fours and put a piece basically here right on the two by four and then also trim out the whole way around just like the other door. And here are the doors. So this is the pre-hung door. You can see this already has this trim on it, so I'll just take that off. I'm not gonna use that at all. And then here are the bifolds. So I got two that are 30 by 80, so total uh, openings like 60 inches. I think my rough opening, I made about 62. And I've never mounted a door before, but it seems pretty simple. I'll basically take the door off, and then using shims, I'll mount up the frame, make sure everything's nice and level. I think I'll mount the hinge side first solid, and then I'll put the door back on and then mount the other side to make sure it closes perfectly. But before I start messing with the doors, I will have to stain all of this trim. So this is one by four, really three quarter by three and a half. So that's the same as my other trim in the house. And I'm gonna do this first so that it can dry while I'm installing the door. And then I'll be able to put the polyurethane on once it's dry. I also will need this trim installed already around the bifolds before I install the bifolds. And this is what I'm gonna be using here. So just a Minwax, this is special walnut, same that I have other places. And then I have a satin polyurethane. It says that the stain should be ready for poly after about four hours. I think that should work out because in here I have the wood stove. It's pretty warm and dry, so I think they're gonna dry up pretty quick. And then I also have here these smaller furring strips. I talked about these last time. So these are one by twos, and that's what I'm gonna be using for the verticals in this section. So I will be painting those the same color as the walls. And then I will probably wait to install those until I have the baseboard stained piece on here. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it, the stain on the bottom and then the vertical painted furrings going up.
All right guys, so I got everything finished up. I started off with staining and polyurethaning all of the trim. Uh, that was pretty easy, it took some time because I think I had about 18 to 20 of those uh, pieces, those eight foot long pieces to do. But that stained pretty well. I then moved on to mounting the doors. So I did this door first. That did go pretty smoothly. Like I said, first time ever hanging a door. Uh, so I didn't do too many shims on this side. I mounted the hinge side first. Couple shims just, just to straighten it up, but the uh, stud was pretty straight. And then I went onto this side, had a lot more space there. I probably framed it a little bigger than I had to. I did actually add some scrap trim in there to take up some of the space before I added the regular shims, but that worked out. I did use finish nails mostly to mount this. You can't really see them because I then uh, painted over them. In a couple spots, I used screws uh, just like, cause this side, like I said, had more space behind it. So I wanted to make sure everything was secure. So like there's a screw there. I think there's another screw up there as well. But with all of that, it made it really solid and I was able to get a pretty nice gap all around and it closes really easily. And then next I went ahead and mounted the bifolds. Pretty easy because it was basically a kit that came with the track. Uh, so the track is mounted up here at the top, just goes in with some screws. Uh, it's basically just trying to get your finished opening the perfect size uh, so that everything fits up. And I was uh, pretty close that I really only needed to add a piece of trim on each side. So I, I trimmed it out in here, the whole way around, up top as well. And my rough opening size was such that I could just put uh, one piece on each side here. And then up top, I did add a piece of plywood. You might be able to see inside here. So I added these strips of plywood. I added four of them just to space down that piece of trim to get the finished opening to the perfect size. And then there's just a bracket that sits down here on the floor, but it does mount to the wall to the side. So I just attached that to the trim. And then they are pretty easy to adjust so that you eventually can get everything squared up. And then you add these little hooks down here so that they kind of square up with each other when you close them. And so once I got the doors mounted, I went ahead and painted them. So I used the brush to do all of the detail work like inside here. So I did two coats inside there first before I started to roll. Same thing here just to make sure that that was nice and covered. I then rolled both of them. After that, I realized I wanted to do one more coat, at least on this one inside the trim, just so that you really didn't see the brush marks. So then I actually have three coats here. Then I just did one more coat on the flat surface with the roller on both of these. And I think this one just shows more of the brush strokes because it is really smooth. This one has the kind of wood grain texture you can see. So that hides it a lot more. And once I was done with the painting, I was ready to do all of the trim work. So I just basically started and worked my way around. I started outside the room and worked inside here. One thing I did do up top, I dropped this piece down a little bit to hide that track. So when you're out here, you don't really see that track at all. And then in here I have this piece here that I put on last. And that one was a little unique because it had to be wider because I had the three and a half inch piece of two by four and then a half inch of drywall. So it really needed to be four plus. And this stuff was three and a half. So I ended up getting a one by six and cutting it down to four and a quarter so that it actually overhangs a little bit there, but then it's nice to make sure you cover all the edge of the drywall. I also did stain that a little darker so it matched the stairs. And then also out here, I had one other kind of custom piece. This piece here, I had to cut down a little thinner. I think I cut it to two and three quarters. So normally, like I said, it's three and a half. And that was just because I was butting up to the other door frame. But otherwise, all the trim was pretty straightforward. Pretty happy with how it came out. This was really my only exterior corner and I got it to butt up pretty nicely. And then over here, I ran the same trim under the stairs section and onto that little door. I did space it up a little bit so that when you do open this door, you know, it doesn't rub on the ground. And I did decide to go with painting these vertical pieces. I know I went back and forth and I asked your opinion. A lot of people did say stain. Uh, I was a little worried with the stain because I knew it wouldn't match completely the uh, stairs. Hard to get everything to match perfectly. And I also didn't want this section to stand out too much. 
I just wanted to give it a little bit of character, a little texture. So yeah, I'm really happy with how everything came out. Like I've said before, this was my first time doing pretty much all of this. Never did drywall, only did a little bit of electrical before. Definitely never hung a door or did any of this trim. Considering all of that, I'm extremely happy with the end result. This has given me a lot of confidence to now tackle some bigger projects in the house. I knew this one was a little more straightforward because there was only a little bit of electrical and most of it was just the framing aspect. So now next up I can do some projects that include some more complex electrical and then also getting into some plumbing as well. So let me know what you guys think of the finished product. I know I'm happy with it, but I'm curious to see what you guys think, especially under here under the stairs. I know I went against a lot of the opinion uh, that I got in the last video. And also let me know what you guys want to see next on the channel. I've got a few ideas, but I love to have some input and it might persuade me to go one way or the other. So thanks a lot for watching this series. I'll see you guys on the next one.